We, we've got this very weird moment right now. That's why I say, like, you know, the, the gilets jaunes, I mean, I've been getting emails and and alerts, you know, for the last, I mean, some say this is the beginning of, you know, this, you know, leftist revolution. And I go, whoa, 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 have you talked to some of the people who are, you know, the, these people who are coming out of the rural, out of rural France who just are, are, are you know, facsimile of, of, you know, Trump supporters in, in, in the U.S., it's it's you know it's an uprising, but it's like a, it's a mass. What it is is it's outrage. Um, you know, do you have to? You know, do we draw lines? I mean, at some point, yes. I mean, I we don't want to uh, be part of a movement that is you know that's reprehensible, or you know deplorable. The deplorables, as you know, Hillary Clinton referred to everybody voting for Trump, and you know, with hindsight, that was that was nasty, because. I'm not talking about Trump, but I think that if you really went and interviewed many, many people, you know, prior to the elections, not now, who voted Trump, I think it was a similar kind of moral outrage. I don't think that they were all necessarily these, you know, evil, deplorable people. There's a level of 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 anger, of of sense of disenfranchisement, of being left out. Of, of you know not even un, you know understanding the discourse of, of the political elite who talk down and don't talk to or, or the vocabulary and so on. there are a lot of lessons to be learned I mean you know many many of us on the left have made very big mistakes and we've lost a couple of decades um, sometimes arguing among ourselves you know, and shooting ourselves in the foot, raw, you know, splitting, you know, we're, we're very good at, at fighting with each other at, at a time when the, you know, the, who's it, Eduardo Galliano, you know, the poet who said, you know, while we're busy fighting with each other, the right is out playing golf. Uh, the, strategically, we've made a lot of mistakes. Um, and, and it's high time that, you know, we, we, we woke up and, it's not to dumb down. It's it's just to be aware of the fact that many people who are part of this uprising are not coming at it from with the same perspective as we as we have. But there are many people who would easily, you know, find common cause with us and not with this populist right. But right now they're out on the streets together. You know, this is this is a massive um, uprising. If you know, it, as long as they're not going to start, um, you know, uh, injuring people or, or or causing harm. I mean, it's 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 a fa it's a fascinating moment. But is it going to be another Occupy, where you know Macron will make nice and um, you know and and then business as usual. But you know we haven't. Ta I mean, we can talk about everything. We can talk about Brexit. I mean, all of these are, all of these are expressions of of outrage. A big percentage of the working class in Britain voted Brexit. You know, that's outrage. That's just saying, you know, basta, Europe. You know, you're you're not talking to us. You you don't respect us. We're we're not getting anything out of this deal. You know, go away. Um, uh, so th th these so come to come to come with another you know, formulaic approach to how we're going to have the good society, I'm not sure is the answer. I think we have a lot of listening, a lot of listening to do. Um, some of us are not that good at listening. Some of us have a, an agenda that we think is a really good agenda, you know, uh, and it is a good agenda, but it may not be an agenda that speaks to people who could possibly and very likely join if we were more generous in our capacity to listen and, you know, maybe wince a bit, you know, we're hearing things that we find uh, unpleasant. How, you know, how can we work also in zones of discomfort? Um, I, I, I think we have no choice. Um, and it's really hard when there's 200,000 people out there to know who's, who's out there or why. I mean, we know the big why. Um, or to to assume that everybody who voted Brexit is you know is some Nigel Farage you know follower or a, you know or a Boris Johnson admirer not necessarily um, we we just don't know so you know if if one were to ca if we were sitting in a class with a with a group of students today we'd say how you know how would you describe today um, you know the, the the last decade 
I think the only word that can describe it is, is, is outrage. You know, can we say this is a great victory of the left, it's a great victory of the right? It's neither. Um, I mean, the right has taken more, uh, you know, is assumed more power in many parts of the world, particularly in, in Europe, um, and well, the U.S., of course. But, you know, is it a great victory writ large? You know, not yet. And we've got to do everything to make sure that that doesn't, you know, that that doesn't, uh, that doesn't happen. We live in a bubble here. Um, you know, we're very, we're very safe, we're very protected. But it's, a, but it's artificial. Uh, it's artificial, you know, that, that bubble is artificial for many people whose lives are not, you know, improved by living in this bubble. And the bubble isn't going to protect us from the planetary crisis. It'll burst just like every other bubble. Uh, politics.